the real reason why relationships don't last these days. You know, I hear all these stories about how people say their grandparents were married for 60 years or until the day they both died or whatever. And you hear all these beautiful stories about how they met in the war or how they both met at work or how he saved her life on accident or whatever. Basically, it could be a meeting scenario that would be worthy of a movie like Titanic or some other wartime romance story. Our grandparents and even some of our parents actually met their husband or wife out in the real world and they actually stayed together past five years. Most actually remained happily married till the end. It was because they had a solid meeting story. They had history. They probably met at some epic event that would forever be a landmark memory in their life. Like say, meeting at a concert at a band's best touring year or something like that. Or meeting at a presidential rally in a major city. There was a common interest that brought the two of them together to meet. These type of introductions are nearly once in a lifetime. Like for instance, back in the 1950s, my grandparents met at a military dance. So my grandpa was in the army, and my grandma was a nurse in the army. So yeah, it was like Back to the Future mixed with Pearl Harbor. It was basically a movie script, a story you could tell everybody for generations, and everybody at the wedding ceremony could hear the story and be absolutely shocked about how amazing it was. And guess what? They stayed married from age 22 all the way until age 91. That's right, there was no divorce, no split up, no BS like that. Back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you had to put in your hard work to meet somebody. You had to take college classes, you had to attend rallies, you had to go to concerts, dances. You actually had to be invested and interested in meeting somebody that was like-minded. And you had to approach women too. And yes, it took nearly everything you had. Your confidence was put on the line, and it took a lot of nerve and it was very difficult to do. But nowadays, my, how the times have changed. It's almost too easy to meet people. You literally stay at home to get yourself out there. And there's no meeting involved to meet somebody. You download a free app, you swipe for a little bit, and bingo, you met somebody in like two hours, all from the comfort of home, in your pajamas. It is just way too easy these days. You know, before dating apps, I met like one or two chicks a year, like at work or at college or whatever, barely one or two chicks a year, and we actually dated for a good while. I actually viewed them as long-term partners because we met in a very cool scenario, but when I joined a dating app, I was meeting like 35 chicks a year. That's right, 35. That's like a new chick every week. And because we met on a dating app, our relationships only lasted about a week or two. So the bottom line is, Dating apps absolutely flood the market, big time. Your relationship has to have a solid backstory about how you two met, or else it ain't gonna last. That's something these kids these days just don't understand. You think an okay Cupid meet is gonna be marriage worthy? I mean like, what is she gonna tell everybody at the wedding about how the two met? Like what's gonna be the story she tells everyone? Is it gonna go like this? There I was, swiping right on 47 dudes. My 50 swipe limit was almost reached for the day, and then I saw him, my 48th right swipe, and we matched instantly. He told me in his first message that he wanted to watch Netflix and chill, and I replied back to him, yes, let's do it, I love movies, and the rest is history. I mean, that's seriously like every encounter on a dating app. That's how they all start off. I mean. How can anybody take that seriously for like a long-term marriage, right? The way a couple meets has everything to do with it. Say you're walking down the street and you save a chick's life. I mean, that meat story right there is going to stand the test of time. The grandchildren are going to hear the story for generations. And if anything comes up, if there's any trouble down the road in your relationship, it's going to survive because that's a solid story right there. But say on the other hand, you meet a chick on a swipe app. I mean, the first sign of trouble in the relationship, she's out of there. There's a commercial I saw the other day about the driveway app. It basically starts off with a chick saying, I do everything on my phone. My shopping, my finances. I even found my boyfriend on my phone. And her boyfriend is walking with her. She then pulls out her phone and she buys a brand new car. And the car instantly appears. Then the boyfriend says, I don't like the color of your new car. Then she pulls out her phone and swipes him away. And she replaces him with a brand new dude. That's literally 
what women are doing these days. One little disagreement and swipe, you're gone. This online dating thing is not going to get any better. The market is going to flood and flood as the years go on. And the duration of relationships will get shorter and shorter. But yeah, that's the reason why relationships don't last this day and age. There's no solid foundation. There's no putting in your dues. There's no suffering. There's no chasing women. There's no need to go to war. No need to brush up on your dance moves. No paying 4,000 bucks a semester to go to state college. You just sign up for a free swipe dating app and the chicks will pour in. And as a result, relationships last like a week or two. Dang.